the mission is something that obviously has greatly impacted my life. Um, not only has it impacted me spiritually, it's impacted the way I study at school. It, it impacts the way that I understand and do things. And it's, you know, it's, it's something that literally changes the, your life. Um, one of the advice that uh, I, I've always kind of kept with me and that as I talk to new missionaries who are about to go on their missions and um, endeavor in that, you know, great work, which is missionary work, um, is to make your mission your own. Um, everyone around you is going to give you advice. Um, everyone, you know, your parents, you know, friends, siblings, you know, say presidents, everyone's going to give you different advice on, on your mission. And it would be wise to, you know, listen to the, all of that advice and take it in and see the things that ap apply to you and um, where, you know, you could better work on certain things. Um, but the one thing that I've learned is also understanding this idea that your mission is your own. Um, and there are things that you're going to learn on your mission that no one else is going to learn. And, and understanding that uh, the relationship that you build with uh, and trying to understand and listening to the Spirit is crucial in on your mission. And so as if I were to go back to the day when I opened up my mission letters uh, or my, my missionary letter and uh, from that point prior to going to the MTC, uh, one thing that I would really work and focus on is um, trying to understand uh, how the Spirit interacts with me and trying to understand um, the promptings of the Spirit. And obviously everyone's a slightly different in how they kind of feel the Spirit and go about that. Um, but I was so focused on uh, little details, um, like trying to memorize every little scripture uh, mastery and uh, and the verses and know exactly where they were and so forth. Where, whereas I was losing sight of the overall goal, um, which is not only strengthening the testimonies of those around you and as you interact with uh, your investigators um, and trying to bring them to the gospel, but it's also uh, a learning and time for growth for yourself. And you you learn how to interact with the Spirit and understand what it is that is truly important to you. Um, there's always going to be times, not only on your mission, but in life, there are going to be days that just, you know, suck. There, there, there are going to be bad, bad days, good days, and everything in between. Um, but on those days that become hard, um, especially when you go to somewhere as far away as Korea, um, that is as culturally different as Korea is, um, there are going to be times where you just feel extremely alone. Um, and you just feel like that no one truly understands where you're where you're coming from and and that's the one thing that I learned on my mission was uh, developing that personal relationship with our Savior uh, because it's true there there'll be times in our lives whether on your mission or um, just throughout life where you're gonna feel that no one around you fully understands the things that you're going through and for those certain situations, a lot of times that's true. Um, no one's been through exactly the same things that you've gone through or the situations that you're currently in. And, and so developing that personal relationship with our Savior is critical at those times because that relationship and that um, bond that you have and that you develop is going to be ultimately what gets you through those times. Uh, when you face those challenges where you literally do do not know wh what to do next. You do not know where to go or where to turn to. Um, the things that are going to get you through those times is having that faith and uh, walking um, with that faith that you have in Christ and understanding that He sees the beginning from the end. He knows what's best for us. He understands uh, the direction that we're going. Um, and as we develop that relationship and we follow his, the promptings of the Spirit, you know, ultimately we'll follow that direction and we'll follow the way that our Heavenly Father wants us to go to. And, um, and ultimately that's the most important thing. And whether that be in trying to understand the, the best way of uh, getting an investigator to, to fill the Spirit or to ultimately come into the waters of baptism or helping a companion who's struggling or 
helping yourself when you're you're kind of in a lonely place or whatever. It's it's developing that and understanding that relationship that with our Savior that ultimately will help us uh, get through those hard times. And so that that would be the one thing that I would focus on um, prior to the MTC because the the language will come. And the gospel, understanding the specific doctrines of the church and understanding the, the scriptures will come. Um, but understanding the, the large, mo the things that are most important, um, which is primarily developing that relationship and understanding that how the Spirit works with you and understanding the promptings of the Spirit are things that I wish I would have really focused on prior to going on my mission.